Hi everyone, welcome back to Xcoding with Alvian. This is the first episode of XCA Bytecast, which is a series of bite-sized tips and tricks that you can use directly into your project. In this episode, I'm going to show you on how to implement search from remote API using combined bounds with observable macro in Steve UI. Okay, now let me show you the starter project. Here I have a list of Marvel characters, as you can see in here. And at the toolbar, we have the search that we can use to filter the character. So let me show you the problem. So let me filter for spider. Okay, so if you see in the console, so for every character that we type, there are two API call. If you see, S, SP, and SPI. Okay, so here we add a did set in the search text that we bind to the text field in here, in the toolbar. And for every character, it will make an API call in here from the API. Okay, but I think there's actually a current bug in CVI where this that's did set property will invoke twice so if you see for every character we will make two api calls okay so for this s p and i it will make like one two three four six api calls so this is very inefficient and basically this is the problem that we want to solve using the bounds is to basically improve the efficiency of our app we don't want to hit the remote API for every character that the users type. And Apple Combined Framework provides us a publisher that we can use to emit events and perform operators like filter, map, the bounce, routing, and so many more. Okay. And on top of that, as this is an async operation from the remote API, we want to also cancel the existing search operation to the remote API when the users enters a new search text okay so let's just begin and remember that you can also download this project from the uh, description below i have provided the link to the github repository description okay let's begin so let me get you familiarized with the starter project so in here we have the api.swift so this is basically just a mock api that we use here with the stops if you see in here we have the stops of a marvel characters and in the search method it accepts the text and then basically just to perform a simulation of the remote api call we'll perform the slip between 400 on to 800 so this will be random between these values okay and then we just filter the stops using this localized case incisive contents with the test from the parameter to return the results of the search okay and also we have this view stat that we use to represent the state of the ui in our view model okay and let me show you the view model we have the api and the view state with the initial state of this in the initializer we just apply uh, assign it with the api stops okay and we have a search text that we going to bind to the text field in the toolbar and then we have the did set where it will basically check if the search text is empty it's going to show the display ideal state which is just showing all the stops and else it will basically perform the search in the async context okay and the view itself it's very simple so here we have the view model and we have a list passing the data okay and from the state and we have overlay if the state is loading we show a progress view if the vm is empty and it's currently searching we show, we show results not found text as well and here's the searchable text field we are go, we are we bind it to the search text bindable Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to import Combine. Okay, this is a native Apple framework which was introduced in iOS 13. Okay, and next we also need to declare two properties using the observation ignored macro. 
So this will basically disable observation tracking of this property. So when this property change, the view won't be updated. Okay. First one is this cancelables that we can use to store the observation of a publisher. Okay. And next one, also observation ignored is the search tax. We're going to give a name of search tax subject. Okay. So here we can use this current value subject. So it's a subject, right? Subject is basically a publisher and observer, okay? It can acting as a both of that. A subject that wraps a single value and publishes a new element whenever the value changes, okay? So it will store a value and also publish a new element when we emit them using the same method, okay? So the type is string and it never fails. So we pass this never means there will be no error from this uh, publisher okay so here in the initializer we can just remove this and then use this search tag subject okay so basically this search tab tag subjects will emit a stream of events that we can also observe okay for each of the events that it emitted and then we can also perform operator such as filter we can also map the results and we can the bounds that we are going to use in this uh, search so what is basically the bounds so the bounds is basically an operator which only emits an item from a publisher if a particular timestamp has passed without it emitting another item okay so in simple terms with this the users can enter the character in the search field and then we are going to only make an API call after a particular timestamp has passed without the users entering under character. So if they are typing very quickly, SPI, and then basically it will just wait until the user stops typing in the SPI, and then it will perform an API call. That time is basically we can configure in here. So we want it for the milliseconds, 500, or one seconds that we can configure configure as well okay so here i'm going to show you there's this diagram from the rx marbles that we can use to see the visualization using the marble diagram of several operators not all of these are available in a combine but we can use this as a reference right if you want to see the visualization so let's say right here we have these three input let's say this is spi okay so this is the observation that we will receive after the bounce operator has been applied so if the user type quickly right one two three okay in a very very rapid manner it will only accepts one because here after one on after specific time it doesn't accept another input okay so it will only process one not one two and this yellow one okay so same in here same in here so this is going to be very useful for search feature inside an application, especially if the search feature is an async search where it will call remote API. Okay, so there you go. I have provided the link to this at the description below for you to check. So here it's going to be the bounds. Okay, let's use the Xcode code completion. Okay, for this we want the value to be one second, which is 1000 milliseconds okay and the schedule it will run in the main thread okay and basically here we can also change this operator again filter this okay so we want this to be processed if the string is not empty okay we're going to add this negate and then we're going to use sync so this will attach a subscriber that will basically listen to this value okay this closure with got invoke with this value after the chaining of the operators okay and one thing that we need to do we need to store this subscription in this cancelable okay so we need to pass this pointer of cancelables okay and then what we want to do in this thing basically we need to do one more thing so basically as this is an async operator operation and 
basically before when the search is happening the users can enter a new search and basically we need to cancel the previous operation right, to improve our efficiency so we need to add a new property in here which is a task okay so here below the state let me add this new search task this will be the swift task so with this task we can cancel the task so the type will be point and never optional okay and the strategy is basically here every time this happen we want to cancel the existing search task okay cancel this and then we want to basically uh, perform the search and then assign this into this task okay before we did that we did to do some modification to this search async okay we can basically change this to produce a task okay so let's change this create search task okay create search task and it's going to accept a string and return a task with the type of void and never okay and here we can just initialize a task with the main actor in here and here we can simply set if self dot state not if sorry we're going just to set the state to loading okay to show the progress indicator the ui and then we'll do a do, do try catch okay currently i'm not adding the error state but in your project you need to add the error case as well because currently i'm just tabbing the api it won't have any failure right such as internet issue or server issue okay so here i'm just going to check for the error if the error is cancellation error i'm going just to print search is cancelled and in the do we can simply get the data and then invoke this try await api search text okay and here let's assign the state with the data okay we already have that and we don't need this anymore and basically i just want to also use these streaming characters in white space and new lines to avoid some edge cases so only if the string with the streaming characters in white space and new lines is not empty, we're going to process, okay? And then let's assign this search task with the new method that we have created. Let's just change this to this. So we don't need to use this self optional. And here we can info create search task passing the text okay looks very clean right okay so this is basically the combine and one more thing that i forgot to add because we've handled the cancellation cooperatively we need to make sure we are good citizens and adhere to the rules and then in here we can just use this task check cancellation after this api call get completed with the data okay so if the user already cancel perform a new search operation it's going to just cancel this not setting this to the state property otherwise the ui will get overridden with the old search okay and that can be an issue okay now there's one uh, uh, also one thing that we want to handle basically when the users clear the search text field we want to basically just display the initial state of the ui okay with the all the stops so instead of uh, putting the logic in here i'm going to also create a new subscription in here okay so here search text subject but in this one i want to make sure this one is empty okay only when it is empty 
that I'm going to subscribe. This one will get emitted. And also store this in the cancelable set. And in here we also want to cancel, right? Because the user has already ended the search operation during the search text field. And in here I just want to invoke display idle state. So display idle state will be just assign the state with the stops. Okay, and in this search text, we don't need to we don't need this logic anymore. Okay, because we already handled that. There's one more thing. So here in the search text, we still need the did search uh did set. And in this, we're going to just use this search text subject. So this is a publisher, and then we can emit a new event based on this search text. Okay, so this will basically receive an event and process this inside this subscription. Okay, based on this operator. Okay, that should be the final thing that we need to add. And now let's trust. Let's just try this. So let me try to search for doctor. Okay, if you see here, there is only a uh, one API call and spy, spy, speed. Okay, there's only one API call in here. Spider Man, Spider Woman, and let's see Iron. So there is one epic call for iron with these two results. Okay, this is more efficient now because it uses the, the bounce as well. Okay, so Captain Captain America, Captain Marvel, Marvel only one epic call, not four epic call. Okay, okay, and when we clear the search text, it shows all the default idle stats with all the stops that we have added in here. And if you see here, when I clear the search text will while the operation is still happening the search is cancelled okay so that's it for this video tutorial we have successfully implemented the search capability using combined operator in the with the new swift ui observable macro okay so excuse me so the observable actually actually is not only available on swift ui so with the observable macro and that's it for this video and subscribe if you haven't like this video if you like and thanks see you on the next one goodbye